So uh, we go out there, fair fight. I agreed not to, you know, pop him in the face. You know, the head and the body, that's fine, but not in the face layer. I'm not going to try to break his nose. And he's like, okay, yeah, that's cool. And the producers were, were thankful for that, right? Well, um, we, uh, we get out there, and if you recall, the first thing he does is sucker push me right yeah. off the bat when the, when the referee says touch gloves, you know, have a fair fight. He pushes me. Now, that wasn't worked out to make it look, you know, exciting or anything. It was just being the So when you know, Arnold Horshack pushes you, now you gotta, you got to fight back. No, no. And if you watch the first round, because I stopped it in the second. I thought I was trying to get it to go to the third round. I didn't think I was hitting him that hard. I mean, I wanted that TV airtime. You know, you only get three rounds. Right. So I go out there, and, uh, and I'm hitting his body, even though he's so small. And I don't know if anyone noticed that goiter on his back. He had like this big lump. It he did was like have a, something going on on his back. Yeah. It was like a cyst. I didn't want to hit it. I was afraid it was going to pop, you know? So <laughs> I'm out there. And that would have been good. You give his tumor a standing egg count. <laughs> yeah, you know? I mean, I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm, you know, we're going at the body and he's, he's just kind of, he's like a turtle. He just keeps coming up to me. And he's not really showing any boxing prowess. So we're out there and it, there's no target to hit. I can't hit him in the face, you know. He's holding his hands down by his body and hunching over. He's like a foot shorter than Eventually, me. you started hitting him in the face, though. Well, I want to know what turned that around. He bent down. Oh, I, I went to pop him in the stomach. Yeah. And uh, he, he came over the top and popped me in the chin. And then all bets were off. Of course. He popped me first. He started popping me in the face. And you blew his eye up. <laughs> I, I saw his eye was, to, uh, yeah. was full of blood. They said that I broke his nose. Oh, you did? Did uh, you? I don't know. I don't think so. It looks straight to me, but it said that on the news. So I plan a whole career now of uh, beating up the elderly, the retarded, you know, kids. Yeah, you know, it looked really bad because he's just some old guy. You were beating up an old man. Oh, come on. He's 48. George Foreman got in the ring at 52. I mean, Foreman. I don't know if you compared George Foreman and Short. (laughs) Yeah, but you don't compare me and Tyson either. I mean, you know. I mean, Foreman is a better actor. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, you know, you got what uh, Tyson and Lewis tomorrow? They're uh, ten Very years excited. over their prime. Very excited. What you think Tyson's uh, ten I, years? Well, he is ten. No, years No, they are. Now. They are. Yeah. Would you fight Tyson? Oh, for the money they give? Oh, yeah, fifteen million. I'd go in there, just lay down, and that's it. Ten seconds later, I'd be uh, fifteen million right. richer. Yeah. There you go. People say, "Man, that was you're a wuss." Whoa. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah, tell that to my guard at the gate in the Bahamas. <laughs> But the only thing is, if you're paralyzed, you have $15 million worth of new hats. Oh, I didn't say I'd go out there and take a punch. i just go out there and lay down. And I don't want to spend the rest of my life saying pudding in interesting dialects. Put you know. that platinum pin on my lapel. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, did I add nothing to that. <laughs> but come on. <laughs> Damn brutal. <laughs> Why? What are they saying? Nothing. They're just they're brutal. What are they saying? I don't know. They want something different from our program today. Hoping. <laughs> They want something different from the program. What? Laughs? Something. <laughs> something we're not giving them. Something apparently we gave them yesterday we're not giving them today. Pedof- pedophilia? No, was... we didn't give them that yesterday. <laughs> I think You're going to get us thrown off the air. Not me. That's Gaffigan. That's what I meant. I haven't All right. said anything. I've been here an hour. <laughs> yeah, Gaffigan, come on. Give us something. You're doing nothing for us today. I'm being very shy. <laughs> I just woke up. I talk about one thing I know, uh, that goddamn uh, computer commercial thing that you were doing, and then I go, oh, that's off limits. You're not going to make me cry. Hey, let me tell you something, fellas. <laughs> yeah. I am an actor and a comedian, but yes. I'll tell you something. These, this situation here makes me really feel like I wish I was a film director in everyday life so I could just go and cut because <laughs> there's somebody should there been a should have been a lot of cuts here. And cut. <laughs> we got it. Is that it? Set up a new angle, yeah. And well, you're not. So we figured, you know, we'd invite you in and, you know, and see what happens. We had a couple of guys in yesterday just sitting around. Oh, my God, it yeah. killed for us. I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's, I'm he disappointed He just woke myself. up. Yeah, Gavigan just woke up. I'm disappointed myself. Check out my website. <laughs> I was like, all right. No. All right, we check it out. Maybe there's something good there. And we go, and it's like, no, it's the best website. <laughs> like, um, all right. And then he's thumbing through the papers. He's just reading, <laughs> eating. I, I don't know. Like, you know, I thought we'd hang a little. Yeah. Talk about anything. Yeah, anything. The first hour we were bring... here, you were talking about your pedophilia. <laughs> it was an FCC complaint. Look, you're addicted to pedophilia. It, it is Stop not. It's an FCC crap. complaint. 
It's an FCC complaint. We brought it up, and then we're moving on. Moving right. on. I just want to go back to why everyone thinks it was bad for me to, to beat up uh, Horshack because he was old. He knew what he was getting into. No, I thought that was very good, as a matter of fact. And I, wish, I wish you would have heard him more. Yeah. That's all I'm saying, because it was entertaining to watch. When you hit the ring, both of I'm like, oh, my God, he's going to kill this old guy. I had some showmanship in there, you know. I was playing Thank for the God. crowd. I liked, uh, at one point, you did, you went back, you put your arms down, and kind of waved him in. He this thought it was an awful. opportunity. He came running in. And he got and, pummeled, and yeah. And you lifted your hand up and punched him in the face. I thought that was, uh, I thought that was clever. Who cares? I thought that was nice. <laughs> I mean, it was a very highly rated Stinks. television show. <laughs> this show stinks. <laughs> and cut to all of you. <laughs> We're talking about boxing. Yeah, but it was a big thing. 17 million viewers, and you know? And cut. What does it mean when Cousin Rob from Brooklyn says there's more humor in a cancerous testicle? <laughs> Is there That's actually answer? true. Yeah, there's, that, yeah, there's, there's always humor. It's not necessarily the cancerous testicle as much as it is the shattered dreams and heartbroken family members. <laughs> 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 the, the what could have been <laughs> Epstein's mother saying you were looking for boxing prowess you were fighting effing Horseshack and he was fighting effing Screech I mean come on now right. you know he knew what he was getting into you, you all know. right Jim, what do you do Jim so, Gaffigan stop reading I'm not help I'm us <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't, don't want to be rude I know you're funny help I don't want to help us out Look, he, you know, Mr. Diamond here is talking. Oh, this is bad now. People are asking, is Voss still in town? Perhaps we can get Rich Voss in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and they're now begging that, for Voss. Yeah, that's bad. He's in Come Virginia on. doing a club that didn't want to be plugged because they didn't think Opie and Anthony were big enough down there. Yeah. yeah. Really? Well. Ugh. Whew. Wow. Great. Now, I've never been in a room that's experiencing flop sweat. <laughs> <laughs> the whole room is sweating. <laughs> it's just we're all like, uh. All right. Well, you know something? We're when all... things like this happen, we usually go to the audience. No, no. And the audience so is what? a pretty good gauge uh, of what we CD? should do next. I, I The don't, audience I, is a good gauge as to what we should do next. I don't, all I don't see no. anything good that could come out of that. What? <laughs> So what, I'm curious to see what the audience thinks was, you know, the down point of the uh, of the experience so far. I mean, was it the talking about the pedophilia? I don't know. For 45 if it minutes. Was the FCC complaint. I think it all went. Was wrong. that what happened? I think it all went wrong when I said, uh, "Hey guys, it's uh, Dustin." <laughs> oh, oh man, oh, so it's me. <laughs> yeah, I'll be. Well, we Come know on. we know what's going to be in Celebrity Boxing Three now. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I think we, what we said, ladies and website. gentlemen, it's uh, Screech. Uh, Andy, what's up? Help us out. Yeah, I just wanted to know why uh, Dustin there thought he beat Ali after he beat Horshock dancing around the ring like he did. Oh, I'm supposed to just bend over and say thank you, insult me again. Yeah, you should. Well, how about I take you on? God. A absolutely. Yeah, right. When and where? You'd be afraid of me. Yeah, you're right. I'd be afraid you'd try and, uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's it a good one. Bad. Yeah, that's a good one. That's yeah, a... well... Oh, even know. the listeners suck. Not... What, are you calling me from New Orleans? Come on. Could you at least pretend to have confidence in that? <laughs> oh, I didn't have anything Mighty. to say. You know, I, didn't, I don't have the background of Saved by the Bell. You know, you know how bad you'd feel if you say you got your ass kicked by Screech? You wouldn't, have, you wouldn't be able to leave the house. Oh, you're mm. absolutely right. <laughs> well, good. Thank you. All right, Andy. Thank you. Cut. Oh, one more and thing. No, it's not going to work. That uh, caller was people, one sentence away from going, wait, why I oughta. Wait, Jim Gaffigan oh, stood wait. up. All right. I, I, Jim? I just stood up because I thought maybe it would help. <laughs> <laughs> was, I don't know. Mike is saying I don't that, know what I'm doing. I thought you were going to start you a fight or it. something. Mike huh? said June 7th, it must be a curse. Fight. Thinking back at last year, yeah, June every, 7th was our wow. first uh, day every, in every Philly. Every and we June were, 7th, we're going to... Our show was horrible a year ago. We remember. It was our first day in Philly, and it stunk on ice. Uh, and now today, well, let's, look, be more gooder. Well, let's just We're go getting more people gooder. that have oh. poor grammar. Dimitri, what's up? Yeah, I just want to know where Screech is playing so I won't accidentally walk in. Uh, Would man. you shut up? So, so how did, how did uh, the end? There's a room of like six people here, and uh, I'm the one that's targeted, right? Yeah, yes. so I get Dustin Diamond. You can't just blame Dustin. We all stink. Yeah. See? Definitely. No, no, no. It's uh, McGuire. Dustin Screech. Playing. Yeah, it was definitely. Uh, I, I I blame it on uh, Jim Gaffigan. I think Jim's um, got some responsibility yeah, yeah, here to uphold me. his end. I just want to know. Program. He's yeah. reading a hey, commercial I'm, log at this I'm point. I'm not the pedophile. All right. 
Are you reading? What did, well, what did are I you do? Was, a movie script? I mean, <laughs> we're trying to do a radio I'm show. doing some work here. I mean, was Jim safe because he was quiet more than I was? That I mean, might have been on. a good strategy yeah. on Jim's part. Yeah, that was a very, that's very probably very a good, good strategy, strategy on our part on the whole show. He's preparing Sometimes, for an audition. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you got to know when to just keep quiet. Yeah, I just yeah, I'm just listening. <laughs> I'm listening and learning. You guys are the pros, you yeah. know. Learn the price of fame. That's what you get, you know.